so far we have discussed amplitude scaling uh, the basic concept and of about the amplitude scaling of the basic test segments the step and ramp signal now let us understand the amplitude scaling we will do on some random signals of different uh, pattern so this is a signal reference signal let us perform amplitude scaling let's say 2xt so here to perform amplitude scaling you have to pay attention to the amplitude of the signal at different instants of time for example you have to pay attention what is the amplitude of the signal at distinct points 1 2 3 4 and so on and depending on that you will multiply that by the scaling factor here the scaling factor is 2 so it will it will do it like this okay So here at uh, time 1 the amplitude of the signal xt is 1 so here it will be 2 because we are amplifying it by a factor 2 so this at here there is an upward rise from 1 to 2 so here it will be from 2 to 4 okay this again at t uh, t equals to 2 there is again a downward uh, decrease with a certain slope and at t equals to 2 the amplitude is again 1 so again it will drop down and the amplitude will decrease to here 2 okay we are just multiplying the amplitude by 2 at each time instant again at 3 it increases from 1 to 2 again the reference signal here it will increase from 2 to 4 ok and again it will drop down from 2 to 1 here in the reference signal here it will be from 4 to 2 and the same way it will decrease from 2 to 0 here it will be 1 to 0 here it will be from 2 to 0 so this is the amplified signal amplified version of this signal so only you have to pay attention to the amplitude of the signal at different time instant this 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 and then you multiply the same with the scaling factor here it is 2 so this is the amplified signal the same signal we scale it by scale down it by factor 2 that is x t by 2 so we have to do the same with the amplitude we will scale it so 1 will become 0.5 and 2 will become 1 that will be the peak variation so 1 2 3 4 is 0.5 this is 1 so at the different points at t equals to 1 the amplitude is 1 so it will be 0.5 in this case then at t equals to 1 there is a instantaneous forward uh, increase from 1 to 2 so here it will be from 0.5 to 1 from 1 to 2 there is a gradual decrease with a certain slope negative slope from 2 to 1 so here it will be from 1 to 0.5 again it will follow the same pattern from 0.5 to 1 as here it is from 1 to 2 and then at t equals to 3 has a value 1 here it is 2 then it will be like this and this so the same thing we have done here here we 
we the amplitude at different time instants we have divided them by the scaling factor okay so here the scaling factor is 1 by 2 so we just done the same with the amplitude we have multiplied the amplitudes at different time instants with the scaling factor 1 became 0 0.5 2 became 1 and the same pattern is followed pattern stays the same only the amplitude it is decreased so here we have another signal and let us say we will perform amplitude uh, scaling uh, by factor 3 3xd so again the concept stays the same you have to identify the amplitude variation points and multiply it with 3 so here the peak amplitude is 3 so here in this case the peak amplitude will become 9 and then subsequently 2 will become uh, 6 then become 3 ok so I am not exactly showing uh, all the points I am just identifying the signal variations and at those points we will make the changes so here it is 0 1 2 3 and 4 so at 1 here this amplitude is 2 so here in this case it will be 6 okay then we will follow the same pattern from 2 to 3 there is a gradual increase with a suitable slope from 2 to 3 so here it will be from 6 to 9 this from 2 to 3 here it is 2 to 3 here it will be 6 to 9 because 3 times then instantaneous drop from 3 to 2 here it will be from 9 to 6 and then at 4 there is an instantaneous drop from 2 to 0 so here it will be from 6 to 0 ok this ok so only you have to identify the amplitudes and multiply it with the scaling factor here the scaling factor is 3 it is greater than 1 so here it is amplification just identify these amplitude points in the reference signal multiply it with the scaling factor ok 1 2 3 became 3 6 9 multiplied with 3 ok and we follow the same pattern the pattern here is the same in both the cases only the amplitudes are either scaled up or down so in the same signal if we have to perform a scaling down operation let us say xt by 2 then again we have to identify the amplitude points and we multiply it by the scaling factor which is 1 by 2 so we become 0.5 1 by 2 2 by 2 1 and 3 by 2 1.5 and it will exhibit the same pattern the same pattern so here it will be like this ok 2 it will be like hmm. then from 1.5 drop down this ok same pattern pattern is the same only the amplitudes they are scaled down by factor 1 by 2 1 became 0.5 2 became 1 3 became 1.5 pattern is the same